Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is an intraday report for trading on Wednesday, June the 29th, 2016. It's about a quarter or two right now. And this report is going to show you and document the explosion in the price of silver while the gold price has been somewhat kept at bay. Just the other day, Alan Greenspan was on Bloomberg all day. Not just as a special guest, but as you can see, he's, had, he's wearing a headset. All right, he's working. His job was to put an end to the stock market slide and create a V-shaped recovery. Hence the title, all major U.S. indices extend year-to-date losses to more than 1%. Well, that was two days ago. Now we have this, silver price explosion. Not only did silver manage to get above the $18 threshold, but it exploded past it to $18.52. Now here we are at $18.38, markets holding steady intraday, just a total explosion in price. Meanwhile, gold is flat. It is dead in the water in price. Now, let's pause and discuss what is happening in these metals. As you all know, unless you've been hiding under a rock or you're brand new to the realities of the news, you would know that the precious metals have been manipulated and has been outed already that most of the institutional Wall Street players are, have been involved, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, and of course the infamous Deutsche Bank came out and said, yes, we've been manipulating the gold and silver prices. Yes, we've been keeping those markets suppressed. Well, here's what's happened now. As a result of their continued uh, collapsing of the precious metal prices going back as early as 2012 here's what's now happened we now have what is possibly now going forward going to be a permanent dislocation in the paper price from the physical metal price that's correct what you're seeing here is indicated by the intraday chart on the gold futures it would it would look as if there was some buying and now it's just kind of like leveled off. That's not necessarily true. What's been happening is, and for, for lack of a better analogy, as with stocks, we have dark pools. Well, dark pools don't exist in futures. The futures markets exchanges are what they are. All right. So just like with Globex, trading the E-mini S&P 500, Globex is Globex. There's no black box. There's no... Uh, dark pools for trading futures. It's just wide open. But yet you have dark pools when it comes to trading stocks. Well, the only exception is the precious metals. Precious metals do have sort of like a synthetic dark pool, if you will. It's called physical. What is happening is the physical price is being hoarded by institutional wealth funds countries are buying it up as much as they can get their hands on there's been such a flurry of activity in the past couple of years that countries have been asking the United States of America for their gold back everyone's in a rush to grab the precious metals they want their gold back okay Germany wants its gold back China's been just just grabbing as much physical gold as it can get its hands on to the point where there's pretty much nothing you can do. If you haven't really stacked gold and silver, then you're probably not going to be able to get your hands on any. All right, it's very hard now. Uh, it's been that way for some time. As the price got lower, you know, getting more and more was 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 difficult. Everyone knows that the price was been held at bay and everything, but no one really knows why. No one has really hit the nail on the head. It's sort of like the 9/11 question. 
everyone knows it was an inside job but the big question is why why would they do that why would they kill so many people and then when you get the answer you can't take it you can't handle the answer because it's too overwhelming such as depopulation agenda such as uh, being able to set up the new world order such as uh, being able to get an unlimited defense budget so we could go and attack other countries um, <clears throat> take their uh you know their their oil and their rare earth metals and whatever else we can get our hands on whatever natural resources that we wanted we use that as a pretext to war to go get it okay so that's what that was about people can't handle that they can't process that well likewise with the gold and silver market why was that done why was the price of it suppressed the answer is right in your face the reason the physical price when the paper market has been attacked and suppressed is so that they could buy it on the international market and get it for cheap this was a smash and grab job by the elites by the central banks to suck up all the physical now there's been a lot of people talking you know all the talking heads and some of the people I even respect have come out and said well you know they're they're doing that you know because they're, they're secretly creating a a gold back fiat currency or whatever we're going back to a gold standard no we're not what's happening is this <laughs> it's a little bit more sinister than that unfortunately they don't want any one any of the rats to run out of the maze they want everyone to go into the new currency which is a fiat currency but it's going to be the mother the father the granddaddy of all fiat currencies it's the new digital electronic age it's a digital digital biometric control grid that has a digital biometric control currency attached to it all right I've done a video series on that but not going back into that I want to stay focused on, on, on what I'm saying here so what's happening is if they snatch up all the physical then that will shut down the black market see they're already planning ahead and because when they bring down the old system to, to um, bring up the new one all right you're gonna be thinking oh it's a it's a crash it's an economic crash because of the debt because of this no it's not that's the that's the outward that's the precursor that's what they're using to explain what's happening so that you'll buy it so that you'll go along with it you say yeah the, well, you know the economy collapsed because of all the debt no they they collapsed it they did that they wanted to use that as an excuse something that you could rationally mathematically um, elevate to in your mind because the real truth you wouldn't be able to handle the real truth that they wanted to do away with this system because they can't really control it the way they want to on the level that they want to they can't spy on you with a, with a piece of a, a paper a piece of paper a twenty dollar bill they can't they can't spy on you with that a uh, twenty dollar bill can't give them uh, your heart rate all right it can't it can't tell them uh, you know if you if you're on drugs or not it can't can't read your iris it can't do all the things that they want it they want them new money to be able to do so they have to do away with it so if they just came on TV and told everyone that they had a press conference and the president told you that you wouldn't be able to handle it okay so that's why they're using all these other things that are natural and, and understandable your professors and your universities understand you know, you know the relation between debt and, and and burden and taxation and causation and, and and inflation and deflation and all these terms they want to throw around but we're operating under something that's not really technically textbook economics we're we're already in a new world order it's just not been formally announced we've already been there we're already in a new control grid system they're just adding on the different layers at it of it incrementally so that you won't detect what's going on they're doing everything in stages like the one of the last stages we saw is the them erecting these these secret towers that look like cell phone towers but they're really not they're spy boxes and you see them in pretty much every major city especially any agenda 21 city you see these these white boxes high up on the telephone poles that don't look like anything you've ever seen before they're not power boxes they're not any of that and they have cameras attached to them and these special cameras can hear and they can also see with them as well so in a nutshell what am I saying the silver price explosion is going to continue however the gold price is going to sorely lag because of the disconnect between the physical and the paper markets 
has been destroyed through all the manipulation. The price has been suppressed so that the power elite can suck up all the physical and make it impossible for the little guy to get his hands on any. Pretty soon what's going to happen is, <laughs> and it's really, you're already seeing this already, you're going to see where the physical price is going to decouple from the paper price and it's the exchange that actually makes the price, right? But you're going to see these, these, these incredible spreads. You haven't seen anything yet. You'll see like an example today, looking at this chart right here, where you see gold at 13.2880. All right, that's the paper price right now, right? But if you were to go to try to go to like, let's just use a, I'm, I'm not singling this company out. I actually like this company, but I'm just using it for an example. Let's say you would go to AppMax. You go online and you want to buy, you know, buy a coin or two. Instead of you seeing a price of the 13.2880 with a little bit of a spread attached to it, let's just say the price will be 30.50, just 13.50, just just round it up. Okay, let's say that's normal, a spread like that, a 20, 30 dollar spread on on gold. Let's just use that as an example. Instead of seeing that, you may see a hundred dollar spread on there. You may see a two, three, four, five hundred dollar spread on there, a thousand dollar spread on there, and the reason it's going to be is because it's going to be almost impossible for these agencies to get their hands on the physical because all the big players are taking and sucking it up so you're gonna see a huge disconnect between the paper and the physical and it's coming right around the corner because all of the physical supply has pretty much been all wiped up right underneath everyone's noses that's why they've oppressed the price for these past couple of years so that they could take the time to round it all up it's it, it's sort of like going around the going around the bin they know they can't just pass a law out you know saying turn in your gold and silver is illegal this is not the 1930s where the average citizen is going to walk into the bank or wherever and turn their gold in no way they know that would never fly so what do they do they say we'll just go ahead and do, we'll just suck it all up just take away all the inventory so it's, it's just like with the gun thing Instead of them just coming out and just banning and outlawing firearms in general, the government says, well, we'll just buy up all the bullets and we'll do it under each agency. Because we just went ahead and just did it uh, at one, one agency, one department, it would look more suspicious than it already is. So we'll say, we'll let the FDA get, uh, you know, get a few million rounds and we'll let the Postal Service get a few million rounds and, you know, Department of Energy, Department of whatever. We'll let all the different departments, hey, let the Medicare department get, get some too. Why not? Just so they can take it out of in inventory and make it difficult for you to get your ammunition. So they say, okay, we can't outlaw guns. We can sure enough buy up all the ammunition. So that's a way of outlawing it without outlawing it. Get it? All right, that's how government works. So in a nutshell, at the end of the day, your silver price uh, is expected to to move a lot higher in the short term I see around 22 possibly uh, the goal should continue much stay flat just where it is and trade within a range of 1260 to 1360 for the foreseeable future that's pretty much where you are as a matter of fact it is possible for the gold price on the paper market to even collapse and fall a couple of hundred bucks from here so just trade lightly also uh, I will be doing a follow-up video to this one uh, going over the Brexit and looking at some things that you're probably not paying attention to, aware of, or have not heard of. So in the meantime, remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Remember to take what you can, give nothing back. Peace.